What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you tips and tricks on how I achieve my best twist out. So I'll be starting out on freshly washed hair and my hair has been separated into four sections. I'm then going to unravel each section and apply my leave-in conditioner and today I'll be using the Shea Moisture Zanzibar and Marine Complex Age Defy and Color Protect Leave-In Conditioner. Once I've applied the leave-in conditioner, I'll then apply some avocado oil to help seal in some of the moisture. Once I've applied the leave-in and the oil, I'll then put my hair back into four chunky twists to allow it to air dry for a few hours. Allowing my hair to air dry like this ensures that my twists are going to be stretched and also ensures that my twists will be dry the next day. Alright, so it's been about 4 or 5 hours later and my hair is about 80-90% to 90 dry and I'm going to begin to two strand twist my hair in about medium sized sections using my Obia Natural Hair Care Twist Whip Butter. Now let's twist. So I'm exaggerating my hand motions a little bit here to show you that when I twist my hair I'm not just simply twisting the two strands together, I'm also twisting one of those strands on itself. I'll show it again a little bit later in slow motion. So here I just want to show you the difference between raveling the two strands together like you see me doing on the left versus twisting one on itself like you see me doing on the right. It's a very subtle movement but I promise you it makes a big difference. So now that I'm all finished, I'm going to allow my hair to completely air dry overnight. And if you have difficulty keeping your twist together at the root, then you can always apply a bobby pin to keep it from unraveling. So when I go to separate my hair, I have to unravel the strand just a little bit to, in order to get it to separate without creating too much frizz. And just like you see me do in my other videos, I separate the strands by starting at the roots and running my fingers down the entire length of my hair and allow my hair to separate where it naturally wants to. So once I'm done separating, I'll then just fluff and try to pick out my roots with my hands to get the desired volume. I hope you all enjoyed this video and as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything else and I will see y'all next time.